The ROG Xbox Ally and Ally X come with plenty of storage for your games, but if you need even more space for a massive library, you can replace the SSD yourself. All you'll need is a replacement M.2 SSD and a size 0 Phillips head screwdriver. Let's get started. Before you begin, we recommend draining the battery to 25% or lower and removing any micro SD cards from your device. Remove the five screws from the back panel and three more from the bottom, placing them somewhere safe like a bowl so they won't roll away. One of these screws is a captive pop-up screw, which will stay in the device, but pop open the case so you can undo the clips around the edges. You can use your fingers or a plastic shim like a guitar pick to carefully work the two halves of the chassis apart. Once free, carefully lift the bottom cover off like a clamshell, taking care not to stress the ribbon cable connecting the two halves. You can leave this connected if you'd like, or carefully disconnect it to have more room to maneuver. Next, you'll need to disconnect the battery cable for safety. On the ROG Xbox Ally X, you can just lift it right up out of its socket. On the ROG Xbox Ally, you'll need to slide the metal locking mechanism back before lifting the battery connector upward to disconnect it. Now you can unscrew the M.2 screw holding the original drive in place. It'll pop up diagonally, at which point you can remove it and replace it with your drive of choice. Certain models of the ROG Xbox Ally may contain a small strip of conductive fabric underneath the SSD. If this is present on your device, you'll need to unscrew the battery and remove it before replacing the SSD. Once your new drive is in place, you can screw the battery back into its chamber. From here, simply perform all the steps in reverse to reassemble your device. Plug the battery connector back in and close the device up, ensuring all the clips snap back into place and the screws are back where they came from. Once reassembled, you'll need to install Windows on your new drive. Keep any microSD cards removed from the slot and plug your Ally into the wall using the included charger. Then hold the volume down button and press the power button to turn the device on. It should boot into the BIOS menu. Press the Y button to exit easy mode, then navigate to the Advanced tab. Select ASUS Cloud Recovery and press A to begin the process. You'll have to connect it to Wi-Fi to download the Cloud Recovery image, and it may take some time. Just let it do its thing. It may reboot multiple times during the process as well, but don't interrupt it. Eventually, your device should appear just like it did straight out of the box. Now you can go download your favorite games and enjoy.